We're going to first study uh, the Fourier series, which is for representing eternal periodic signals. So by that, I mean signals which last uh, all, forever. So they have no beginning and no end. Uh, you can think of them as extending in both times on the time axis. And uh, a signal that's periodic. So this isn't a periodic signal, but a signal like this, uh, let's say that goes like this. Something like that would be a periodic signal. Uh, there should be a wave here. So um, such a signal will have a time period where it repeats. So like something like from here to here, we can think of that as the fundamental repeating period. And let's say that that period is denoted by T naught. Then uh, we'll denote something, uh, the, the base frequency is omega naught, where omega naught is given by 2 pi over T naught. And what we uh, can see is that this means that we uh, think of the period of the signal as being T naught, like a sinusoid. And then uh, in a sinusoid, we cover 2 pi radians in time period T naught. And so the frequency corresponding to that is omega naught. So in the same way, we can think of this particular uh, section of the signal as being repeated with a fundamental frequency of omega naught. Okay, so given that the, the, the sequence uh, repeats, it, always, it never stops, it always keeps going in all directions, um, then what Fourier showed was that for nearly all signals and at nearly all points in time, uh, xt, so this is the signal x of t, because this is t on this axis, so this is showing x of t on the y-axis, x of t can be represented in the following way. So it can be represented as xt equals a naught, which is some constant, plus a summation. And this summation is an infinite sum, k equals 1 to infinity. And it has two terms in it. One is a k, which is a kth term, cos k omega naught t plus bk sine k omega naught t. So uh, to understand these, just let's unpack this a little bit. So a k and b k are just constants. These are uh, real numbers, uh, a k and b k. And here are two sinusoids, cos of something and sine of something. And uh, what are these? Well, here we're multiplying by k. So k times omega naught means that it's going uh, sort of k times faster. So if omega naught is 1 hertz, k is 10, k omega naught would be 10 hertz, and so on. So if the base signal uh, uh, is over here, then uh, so if, if you think of the base, so this is cos of t, cos of k omega naught t. So the base signal is something like this. So that would be thought of as cos omega naught t. That's what it looks like with t on this axis. And then cos 2 omega naught t is sort of twice as fast. And then cos 10 omega naught t would be something like that. So what you're really saying here is that uh, we have two sets of sinusoids. One is cos like that, and the other one is sine. So sine is 90 degrees offset from the cos, so it goes like that. So it's always 90 degrees offset, and uh, I don't think I can draw this very well, but you get the idea. So what we're saying is that no matter what xt is, as long as it's eternal and periodic, then we can represent it as the sum, the infinite sum of uh, signals that look like this, a cosine signal and a sine signal, a cosine in black and the sine in, in, in red. And if you sum them up with these uh, parameters, a, k, and b, k, which are these constants, then it will actually reproduce the signal, which is actually pretty interesting. It, we don't really care what xt looks like, but uh, we can represent it using uh, uh, this. So it's just like saying I can write any number with any integer in the fashion like this. So 1, 2, 5, 6 represents an integer, and I can represent some other integer, let's say 3, 2, 2, 2, 
two, one, six, four. So this is another integer, but they're all written with the digit zero through nine. So in the same way, I can show, I can represent any periodic function, xt, as the infinite sum of sines and cosines, as long as I multiply them with these uh, special constants, ak and bk. So it's really as fundamental as that. Uh, and it doesn't always work precisely. Sometimes you need many terms, but typically with even a few terms, you can get pretty close to the original signal. Okay, so each of these higher values uh, is called a harmonic. This is a harmonic uh, it's the high, uh, of the base frequency. So the base frequency is omega naught. These are all harmonics of omega naught over here. And uh, this value A0 over here is called the DC value. It's the DC component because essentially it's the it's like the direct current and it's like alternate current. So it has a physical meaning, but it means that uh, it is not oscillating. Okay, so uh, what about these values A0 and so on? Where do they come from? So A0, A0 is given by 1 over T0. So T0 is the original time period, integral 0 to T0, xt dt. So it, it just says uh, it's the average value. Think of it as the average because it's just taking the value of xt over the base period and its average value. So over here, for example, if you were to take a look at this, then uh, we would have the average value of this value over here, for example. Of the, sorry, the average value over here being this value over here. Okay, let me see if I can get rid of that. Okay, well, it went away. All right, now uh, let's see. So the other values you need to know about are uh, AK and BK. So AK is given by 2 over T naught integral 0 to T naught XT cos K omega naught T DT. And BK is given by uh, 2 over T naught integral 0 to T naught. So this is, of course, the base base period. So any integral is going to be over the base period, xt. And what you're doing is you're multiplying by sine k omega naught t, t, t. And so uh, with these values, with these computations, we can essentially represent uh, any eternal periodic function using, uh, uh, using sinusoids. So this is what's called a sinusoidal form. But we can also use another trick to make it a bit more compact. And so uh, just do that. Let me just write out xk uh, once more. Uh, it's just the kth term. So x, the kth term is given by xk equals ak cos k omega naught t plus bk sine k omega naught t. Why do I get rid of this? 